Hello, and welcome to this Vibato Quick Take on using incremental implementation. In this Quick Take, you'll get an introduction to the overall design flow, including a simple design example. We'll see how the incremental flow is used in projects, then see how the flow can be run using tickle commands. What are the benefits of using the incremental flow? The first is runtime savings, which enables more turns per day. More predictable results means you spend less time between runs analyzing and fixing timing problems. This all leads to faster overall timing closure. When do you use the incremental flow? After making small isolated changes to design. Incremental flow can speed up place and route. If the design met timing before, but no longer converges after updating, you can influence place and route with the known good results. Testing shows you get the best results when the amount of changed cells in the netlist does not exceed about 5%. That leads to an average place and route speed up of about 3x over the normal flow. Coupling up incremental with bottom-up synthesis flows can further improve results by isolating netlist changes. So how does the incremental flow work? By taking physical data from a known good design checkpoint and applying it to the updated design. Since the updated design is very similar to the place and routed design, Matching cells can reuse their previous placement, and likewise, matching nets can reuse their previous routing segments. The incremental placer places the remaining new cells and may decide to discard some placement to improve performance. Similarly, the incremental router routes the remaining nets and may decide to discard some routing to improve performance. Routing is evaluated per segment, and so it is possible to have nets partially reused and partially rerouted. Now let's look at a simple example of how the incremental flow works with projects. Here is a slightly modified version of the Bovado BFT HDL example. The design has completed synthesis and implementation successfully and meets timing. Next we'll incorporate some typical design changes, highlighted using TKDIF with original on the left and revised on the right. These are some typical late state changes, modifying state machines and adding some control logic. Now, let's update the modified source file in the project. We have a new version of that file that we'll use to replace the current one. Now we'll resynthesize the design and get an updated netlist. To keep the good results, we'll create new synthesis and implementation runs. Then we'll launch the runs. Our updated design ended with negative WNS, did not meet timing and took longer to run. As is sometimes the case, we introduced just enough change to disrupt our timing closure. Instead of placing and routing from scratch, let's try the incremental flow. We'll reuse the physical data of our good run on our updated run to see if we can get closer to meeting timing. To set the incremental flow, we'll create a new implementation run first. For this, right-click and choose Set Incremental Compile. This will prompt us to choose the checkpoint file corresponding to our good results. We'll browse to the impl underscore one run directory and choose the routed DCP to make sure we get both the placement and routing to reuse. Notice that the incremental compile field has been updated in the project summary. Now we just click and launch implementation and the tools will automatically run the incremental flow. Checking the results, we can see we're able to close timing and the runtime was noticeably shorter. A summary report is generated when running in incremental mode. This is the incremental reuse report. The report shows statistics on the number of cells whose placement was reused, and similar statistics for nets. For this design, our percent reuse for cells was above 95%, which is good. So we've seen how the incremental flow is used in projects. What tickle commands are used? The tickle commands are read checkpoint with a new incremental option, a new reporting command, report incremental reuse, and the familiar place design and route design commands that automatically run in incremental mode. Let's read our synthesized checkpoint into memory and see what happens when we run read checkpoint incremental. We are running in non-project mode and our first step after synthesis is opt design. We run read checkpoint incremental using our known good routed checkpoint bft routed.dcp. The checkpoint is read, compared to design and memory, and placement and routing are applied to each matching object. If we check the device editor, we can see the matching objects. Cells have already been assigned their previous placements, and nets have been assigned previous routes. 
it is intuitive that for small design changes, this is a better starting point for placement and routing, both in terms of speeding up runtime and yielding more predictable results. Once the incremental checkpoint data has been loaded, we can run report incremental reuse to compare the two designs and generate the same report we saw earlier with the statistics on matching and reuse. If reported matching is low, say below 70% of the cells, then we may be better off running place and route from scratch. Also, once incremental data is loaded, placement and routing will automatically run incrementally. No switches are needed, just place design and route design. Additional matching statistics appear in the log file as the flow progresses. Now you have an introduction to the incremental implementation flow. For relatively small design changes, so less than 5% of cells, this is a useful flow for speeding up place and route runtime and recapturing time enclosure. This concludes the Vivado Quick Take on using incremental implementation. Thank you for watching.